The fifth digit in the VIN of Ford Motor Company products was very important. Let's see what this one's got. Ah yes, the mythical fifth VIN digit. Those who know Ford codes can be seen at car shows subtly leaning towards the fender pads and dashboards of 1960s Mustangs and Galaxies and Mercury Cougars like this one to see what's up under the hood. And what do we see here? Well, all the goodness of the letter R, my friends. R typically stands for race, so is it a coincidence that Ford engineers chose the R to designate the hottest engine available? Well, in this case, it's the Mercury 428 Cobra Jet V8, labeled with a cool checkerboard sticker on the Ram Air intake lid for all the world to see. It's not uncommon to see high-performance engines installed in cars like these. I mean, 1969 was a long time ago, so you never know what somebody could have put in this car. But if the numbers stamped on the block match the number in the VIN, well, then you know you've got a factory-installed gem like this one. The 428 Cobra Jet is a real powerhouse, and although this one is only rated at 335 horsepower, if your needle crossed that 5200 RPM published peak, well, we're sure there was more power in it. They also cranked out 440 pound-feet of torque, so they had plenty of oomph to make these big cats jump. Nineteen sixty nine Mercury ads were written for the younger crowd, and they even invented some new words like streep sweeper that never really caught on. But I'll quote from a performance ad from back in the day. Take it from Dino Don Nicholson, when you're waiting for the tree to go green, you know who's got the set of wheels if a Ram Air CJ four twenty eight is revving up down under. This big breathing blue brute psychs out opponents because the word is out, man. CJ428 means I'll huff and puff and storm past you to the big end. And here's what does the job. Ram air induction, 735 CFM four barrel carburation, supersized head porting, free breathing manifolds, big valves, high strength rods, and a streetable high lift hydraulic cam. Match a CJ428 to your Cougar, Cougar XR7, or Cyclone CJ, and prepare to dominate. Back when these cars were new, Carcraft Magazine teamed up with Dino Don Nicholson and Coca-Cola to do a giveaway car, and that would had some go-fast bolt-ons, making the car run 1270s in the quarter mile, with Dino Don at the wheel doing his speed-shifting magic. Stiffer suspension, 14-inch styled steel wheels and wide oval tires, and a 3.0 gear help these things make tracks while still keeping a comfy and civil ride. After all, Mercury's were supposed to be family-type cars, and the Cougar was widely known as an extra nice Mustang, according to Carcraft magazine of the day. And it was, with a bit more room and weight, cushier insides, and a few more comfort options than its Mustang cousin. This one is fitted with the luxury XR7 package, which added the ivy green leather seats, a wood grade trim on the dash, and the gauges included fuel and amp meters next to a 120 mile an hour speedo flanked by a 6,000 RPM tack. And yes, we wondered why the speedo has a red line and the tack does not. Cougars always had cool switch gear, and the 69 XR7 has a cool set of rockers in the dash for things like the courtesy and map lights. And below, you'll find the AM FM stereo, power top, and air conditioning controls. Yep, this one is loaded, but the real goodies, well, they're under the hood.
While most people didn't run these cats at the track, it's comforting to know that these big, stylish, comfy rides had what it took to stand on their own when it came to making tracks on the street. There's a lot of neat cougars like this in the Brothers Collection. Have you seen the others? Go to our website at musclecarteweek.com and we'll see you on the next lap.